Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil. Hope you can hear me with the wind. But in today's video, we're gonna pull this five fur plow out of the hedge. Another recovering the machine from the hedge. How long has it been here? I don't even know, but we're gonna get it out of here. Chehi, bit digging and pulling and rooting. And we see what we need to get this out of here. Hopefully not too much. First good sign, five springs are still on it. Father Phil told me the springs could have been gone off it because I have very little memories of this working. Vaguely remember maybe the first time I went plowing with Uncle Ian together. He plowed with this plow and I plowed with the, our other 4 for a variable with plowing the 6480. But there is a video of this plow working on the YouTube channel where Uncle Ian and Father Phil were plowing. Uncle Ian was plowing with the 120 and this and I can't remember what my father was plowing with right the 4 for around the 6290 the only other memory I ever have of this was Uncle Ian coming out to try and rob bits off of so that's once he hasn't he hadn't taken anything off it that would get in my way of getting it out I should be okay but there always is that possibility and father Phil said he thought he had a spring taken off it but all the springs are there so we'll just clear up the other side of the plow and then we'll see will the headstock swivel if it'll swivel then i'll be able to get the tractor back into it as it is there i won't so we'll just have to play it for a year and see how this And now that's all the briars cut off it. First three problems that I have encountered is number one, the tire at the back is flat. So hopefully it'll just pump and hold air. And then you bring out the 99 has the airline on it. So we'll sort that. Second problem is there's an ESB pole is half under it. So the wheel is going to have to hop across that to come out or pull out the pole. Don't ask me which went in first. Third problem is the headstock well it sees to the point where i can pull it around and looking at it that pivots side to side and then it pivots up and down there so there's no reason for that not to swing to the side that swings to the side i just back in the tractor hook it on i have to um 99 chain and two category three balls to put it on and hopefully fingers crossed she goes on the pipes could be dirty that lets me down but hopefully they're good enough to hold enough pressure just to lift it and pull it out of there if all that lifts is the big wheel at the back and I, even if i don't stand her up straight just as i lift the big wheel at the back i get out of there and get it washed and have it clean for iron take off pipes because all the pipes will have to be replaced we get the 99. i figured out why it was hard the whole fur body is broke not just a frog, I thought it was a frog that was broke. More than a frog that broke. The whole expensive bit. That's air in the tire. 20 pounds, 20 psi. So that should hopefully be enough. Don't want to over pump it just in case that whole tire wouldn't hold it. So now move on to Problem three, see can we pull this headstock around? Also, I'm thinking if I come in at an angle, the pole ends there at the fourth furrow. So if I come in enough of an angle when I'm pulling around, the plow might skip out just before the pole. And that might have been how it was put in there, maybe. not see it's like that so it needs to turn down now uh, how on earth do I get that out of there 
because I can't get in close enough because of the rocks. That's not going to work. Oh, God, I love a bloody challenge. If I got a ball on that side, maybe I might be able to give it a twist round or something. Maybe. You've got to bear with me now for a few seconds. <laughs> half an hour till I figure this one out so we have a turning now a bit of brute force and not far off now I have it sitting up a bit square and have a turning just have to um the tree's a bit close to me that's all getting there so now we have it on on the bottom but in the top link plug in the pipes and then figure out which pipe supplies the ram for the wheel at the back to lift the plow if that's all I get done I'm happy that'll get me out of here I don't need to turn the plow up not yet anyways I'll have to get this top link into the workshop or into something a bit better and on see this end of it We have one for the wheel, two for a ram that throws the wheel left and right, and then two for over and back. So, figure out which is which. These two. Honestly, I can't tell. All the pipes go into the channel and then come out the other end, so I can't tell. But I have two, and I have here and I have one big one so I'm going to reckon my big one is the one I want for lifting the wheel I just match these ones up then for how they come I think by looking at it there's a hydraulic cross slide on it and that's one set of pipes and the pipes that turn the plow over and back also turn the little wheel left and right or the big wheel at the back left and right these in now these pipes here are for the cross slide oh jesus and there's a set of pipes that are going to bust no matter oh anyways right let's see how this goes you can see the action as it unfolds. Right. Up. Okay. Now. Say a prayer. And here goes pull the pipe. They pop out. Popped out. When we get going, we'll fill you in. We're lifting. We're lifting. She's up. So I had to change the end on the pipe to get to lift. The end that was on that pipe just kept blowing out. So she's up now. So lift her up on my end and now the moment of truth can we get her out here Of that pole now, that's just what I wanted. Might hop it. Gonna hop it, it's hopping it, it's trying. And we're across it. Now, we get her into the yard now. So, we're at the wash bay now, and I had to get it lifted because my wheel isn't acting right. It's kicked out to the right, left, yeah, right all the time. <laughs> Very hard to get in. 
so I had to lift it so I got I had to change the pipe but I have a problem I can flip it that way but I won't be able to flip it back because the end you can see the end of that there it's it's nowhere it's obviously broke off wherever it should have been so I'm assuming if I keep pulling it the same way it just goes right home or is that no that just brings it to the top so when I go the other way pops out right yeah I'm not sure how this works but nor do I want to wash it and it's sitting up like that oh I'll get it let down just in case pipe there I don't really know what it's at now it's gonna be fun figure out how to let this down now I have it up yeah the drives are trying to figure it out but one thing for sure they don't go away from that plow while that's up because I wouldn't trust any part of that so let's see what we can figure out and we have it the right way so it's sitting on the stopper so she's safe that way um, I might actually let it down off the back wheel just so it doesn't come down in a hurry just in case not wouldn't just trust them pipes they just all them pipes that have to be changed not take any chances um, so yeah I had to let the oil out of the pipe so I just managed to get it out not too bad it's going to lubricate up the front bit there so the reason this plow was parked up in the hedge and has never that look the reason it was in the hedge this here she broke there now that was broke plowing incredibly stony ground it's ground that probably shouldn't have been been plowed and it was broke uncle Liam broke a plowing with my father's old 3690 and that's when that broke and they've welded it you can see it's been welded maybe once or twice but it's never been good enough and that's why she was parked up there because that's broke and that's a whole new leg and I don't know what the kind of cost is on that I assume it was a fair bit seen as they never bothered doing anything with it maybe it's not I don't know we'll have to find that out we'll have to get on to our plowman and put a little order together of all the bits we need because there's quite a few bits we're actually we're missing the two front skimmers I actually have to go pick one up there's one of them out there but we're missing two front skimmers we're missing shear actually missing a few shears there's I don't think there's all points on it um, some of it yeah we're gonna have to go through it but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash it off then we're gonna go through the plow all the bits it needs to get and then that'll be it so yeah we get this power washer going and um, we brighten this yoke up a little bit It's all fun and it's all game Goes to hell, no one's to blame I think I've seen this happen once before Cover washed off Not looking too bad So the camera also fell and it's quite wet and mucky And hopefully it hasn't affected sound or anything The model of this plow is a 108 So mod PB 108 Five for a semi mounted hot it's called with the furrow at the back so you're not carrying all the way to the plow on the back of the tractor you're spreading it out between the tractor and your back wheel I've had a quick look at what metal we need and it's a bit mishmashed the one thing that seems very good on all of them is our slats seem pretty good on all I don't think there's any need to change any of them we need a full set of shins right across they're all knackered on it full set of shins we need one skimmer I have one one missing I might have a look in the shed there might be one in the shed by some miracle there's one skimmer missing off it needs it only has two set two points on it on the entire plow there is no other points on it so it needs seven no it's five ten eight points needs ten shins one two three four five needs five she five shears but it needs as you see you have lefts and rights now so it's one two three lefts 
and it needs two rights. It needs a full set of landslides for the top. Well, actually, that one's not bad. That one is a bit down. The last three are well worn. Uh, it seems to have a new set on the bottom. They all seem to have lots of metal there. So it needs three landslides on the top. It needs one trash board. Uh, needs a skimmer tip there. It needs a new bolt there and the one on the bottom down there. And after that, the metal on the plow doesn't seem too bad. The biggest issue we have is this here is broke and I also in power washing we can see this one here has been broke and has been welded. It actually doesn't look straight it looks like it's twisted that way ever so slightly which wouldn't be helping them um, plowing in a straight line. So we're gonna have to get a price on two of them. They could be wild expensive I don't know. I honestly guy don't know. It didn't wash up too bad a little bit of colour back in, a little bit of red and green back into it, you know, doesn't look too bad at all. So that is the five for a plow. May I ask him why did it get put away? Well as we've seen there's two broken furrows, legs, parts, I don't know, I can't think of the right word for them, but the whole body and even I'm looking at it now, that one is also welded. Yeah, make it worse for wear. It needs three of these bodies. So there's like two bodies on it that seem to be not broken. I just double check. Maybe. Yeah, it's actually worse than I thought. I just double checked there and they've all actually been welded. Every one of them. So I, I don't know whether this will even plow right. Even if we just said we changed the one that looks bad or if Adder Phil worked his magic on it and welded it up with all these braces that seem to be on the rest of them whether it had even plow right or not. It told me why this was parked in the hedge was it has a few issues. It needed quite a bit of money spending on it if they were to straighten them and it also put a nice bit of metal on it. You know, it needs it needs a good bit. It needs, you could say, nearly half of one side replaced in total. So there's a lot of money's going to be put into this and we'll tell you how much it's, going to, it's cost us to get this going again. If we go changing all them boards, which well, we'll see how it plows. If it's not plowing right, we'll change one or father will fix it. And if I don't, if I'm not happy with plowing it, I look about changing them all, which could be just the price of a new plow. At I, I honestly got, I have no idea how much there. It could be a thousand a piece. Why are we doing it? The simple reason is we want to put this plow behind the 1200. That was always the plan to put the five for a plow behind the 1200. Why has why not the four for well the four for us mounted and them tractors kind of had a reputation for not having the best back end But with the semi mounted plow, it's only carrying half the amount of weight So in that regards, there should be no bother to it The tractor is I don't think it's a hundred horsepower. It's a little over a hundred horsepower, but it has superior traction So it just me father thinks five for a plow 12. I think as well. It should be a lovely lovely matchup It should just be oh and that was always our plan was to get the two together for our uncle but unfortunately that is never going to happen but we we're going to plow on ahead literally and get it going for the spring and father phil is currently well if you're watching this video he'll be back in ireland but as i'm pulling this out he is in the uk picking up the bits for the 1200 and as it stands with our workload we're two or three jobs a slurry whenever the weather dries up again biggest end of all has to be done is getting cattle out which we can't really do in this wet weather we need it to dry up a bit and then the tillage work we need a week of dry weather before we can go back on ground grounds got very wet very quickly there's going to be a couple of days spent at this 1200 and we may have it going in a relatively short space of time if the planets align and everything works out for us and if we do get it going this needs to be got to some degree of a standard of plowing. That's why we're pressing on and we want just want to have this plowing for the spring. So we'll get in touch with our plowman. I cannot fucking think of his name. Rouch. It could be Rouch. Just can't think of it. Down in Wexford. We'll get in touch with him on the list we need. A bit. And we'll see what we'll do about these furrow bodies. And we'll get this going. Ultimately, the most work is to be done with the 1200. Father Phil thinks that if we do get this all 1200 and this and all plowing right, he says I'll probably end up plowing with that all the time. 
but we'll see how it goes but ultimately that's why we're doing it we're going to leave it at that for today's video we'll pick it up again on the plow when all our bits are here and we start rooting ripping and tearing over the hedge i have a rough idea of what needs to be done what needs to be got so we can be getting our ducks in a row to be getting that we're going to leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck